Good morning, everybody. This is your girl, Brother J, and it is Sunday morning chit chat. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Sunday morning chit chat is similar to a vlog. I just don't daily vlog. I decided to leave it at once a week, and I left it at Sundays. Although, hold on, let me change this. Let me lift it up. I have seen that other YouTubers have done vloggist, are doing vloggist. And they actually make 30 day challenges or vlog for 30 days. I forgot when is the next one. I'm not sure if I want to do that. I don't know. Not that I'm cap that I'm not capable of it because we can do anything we put our minds to. And that's the reality. But neither here nor there. I am here to let you know what's been going on and what happened. So last weekend i went to beacon new york my friend lives in walden her daughter her youngest an 18 year old finally had graduated out of high school in june they were finally rather having the celebration in august they got the place and of course she outdid herself with everything i loved it i was gonna vlog that sunday do my sunday morning chit chat however i was in the company of someone who's not truly supportive of me, if that makes sense. I look too bright. Um, I felt that they were not truly supportive of me and that they were, I don't know. I have friends that are like that. I have people in my lives that I know that could truly give, they don't care. It's the same as if you're opening up a business or you're doing a side hustle, you know, whether selling Tupperware or Avon or Mary Kay. Maybe you're doing Lotus Beauty. Maybe you're doing something that you firmly believe in. And people will buy one product and that's it, just to get you going. I've done that. Okay. And then you have people who will be truly supportive and watch and look out. That's what I'm dealing with. A lot of people do not watch my channel. If they do, they refuse to subscribe or be known, or they don't want anyone knowing that they're subscribed to my channel, and that's what I'm finding. A lot of people don't wanna be associated with me, and I can't blame them. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I really could care less, but now if you started a channel and you wanted the support system, the pot calling the kettle black you can't expect people to be supportive of you if you're not supportive of somebody else does that make sense so I stick to my youtuber family and sometimes it gets a little bit lonely it does it really does I don't have no one and everybody that I don't want to say that I can't collab with other people because I can it's just a matter of them having their schedule ready they need to be ready because I have plenty of time and I can do this it's just a matter of whether people are allergic to cats or not and some people may be allergic to my cat and right now my cat is hiding in the closet the closet stays open and I find that I'm sifting through her litter and cleaning it up every other every two days I'm doing that I don't like the smell it's disgusting yes what can I tell you that's been going on the fact that ever since the party on Saturday you know at Beacon up in Montgomery New York I came home in pain I was in pain all week long with the exception of Friday I was back to you know somewhat movement and everything good and then Saturday the pain was just so excruciating yesterday I couldn't even go to knitting class I literally stood in bed wrapped up my leg I was up and down in the house I wasn't going outside let me explain to you something I don't know about you I don't know how those people on my 600 pound life do it how and what I consider morbidly obese is that you can't get around without assistance you can't do nothing on your own that's morbid obesity doctors will say I'm morbidly obese how when I can literally put my hands between my ass cheek and wash my ass no offense I can wash my ass okay I can stick my finger and wash the duty on my butt I can stick my hand between my legs and clean my crotch I can the only thing I can do I don't have long arms to scrub my back but that's what a back brush is so how am I morbid, morbidly obese I just their terminology it, it literally bugs me out however 
I will say that my weight is causing a problem on my bones. It is. That is becoming a problem. Do I need assistance? No. I find that I'm walking funny, which is causing pain in my hips. I find that right now I have to take it easy. I don't appreciate that. However, I am. there is no one else to blame but me. Food is not the end all or be all. I want to live. I want to have a healthy life. I don't want to die because I couldn't have that last piece of strudel. Not that I eat strudel like that anyway, but I'm just saying, in general, this is what I'm going through right now. To know that I was secluded to my bedroom, to my house, that I couldn't leave out my apartment because I was in that much pain walking is a problem. And the fact that I have to go to work this week and I'm trying to take it easy. So I need a new pair of sneakers, that's number one. In order for me to walk, my sneakers are outdone, they're worn out, even the cushions, so I need something new. On top of that, I need to really say goodbye to garbage. That's what it comes down to. It's not worth it. As much as I love that trickle of soda going down my throat, <gasps> no. Cured meats, no. Basically, a lot of stuff. McDonald's, and I like their sweet tea. I'm not going to say I love their sweet tea, but even down to Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks, it's to the point where now food is actually turning me off. It's not, it doesn't bring me joy to know I'm in that much pain because of my weight. Nah, it's not all that. And I'm not waiting until I hit 600 pounds. 323 pounds is enough. I don't know about you, but to be home with this leg wrapped up in this ace bandage yes this is a wide one to be laid up with my leg not to be able to do certain things and what makes it worse is just isolating yourself to your chair the back of my thighs hurt so yesterday i found myself stretching you know how ballerinas stretch uh similar to yoga where they lift their legs up and i was holding on to the windowsill i was literally stretching out my legs it was that it was that serious i put on the radio i couldn't do it anymore i was i felt i felt horrible i didn't like that feeling and i had to stretch it out stretch it out move around like do a little shimmy or, or wiggle without putting too much pressure on my knees because that's what does it well you know when you have to bend down a little bit to whine you know when you're reggae and certain dances causes you to do in a little slight bend position that no more i can't do that and hopping around 303 you know that much weight it plops it doesn't bounce it goes it's dead weight that plane I don't know whether it was coming or going I think it was going it went that way look at I want to know what's going on with you I also want to give a heads up of what's coming on later on I made the pajama pants. Yes. They're not perfect, but they're mine. Look at, yeah, they're bright green. Even if I put them right here. Look how green they are. Look how bright they are. I look like a walking highlighter stick. <laughs> but they're mine. And whether a fail or a flop, you know, whether a pass or a fail, they're mine. I made them. I just have to put the elastic, and that's what I'm going to videotape later on. Putting in the elastic, I'm going to put it at the bottom of the cuffs and here at the waist. See? And I'm going to talk about whether this pattern is easy or not. And I will discuss that later on. That'll be later on. But yes, I have been sewing. And I have a special surprise for Miss Jones Blues and Jam. Yes. We will be crumble quilting crumbs crumb quilting that's what it's called where you take your scraps i call it crazy quilting i just i like the unconventional form some people call it crumb quilting some people call it um crazy quilting i'm gonna do any way but loose quilting that's the way it's gonna be we're gonna take our scrap fabrics that we have laying around maybe you have a t-shirt or something uh old clothing also um that you want to just make into you want to practice quilting you want to get involved with quilting you want to learn some things well i'm gonna post some that'll be later on 
I'm gonna get the video together and the show notes so I can we can get the videos together but all you got to do is put crumb quilting in the search engine for YouTube and you see what comes up even crazy quilting they have so many like freestyle quilting any which way you want it to be quilting okay but I'm gonna put the crumb quilting video below the one that I saw that really got me going and I really like her and the facial expressions crack me up I'm gonna post the video link below for her also if you're new to YouTube you're a small little guppy like me and you want to learn how to fix the background to your you know learn how to do thumbnails or fix the background your banner on your like page and right here on YouTube I'm gonna post Gabrielle Marie's um, channel link there you could scroll through there and she will help you out big time that's who helped me I love it okay I love her channel I like what she brings to the table just make sure whatever you do you posted in the show notes who helped you okay as well as if you need advice for your channel things of that nature I'm gonna post Nick Nimmin video influencers Brian G Johnson and Roberto Blake down below Roberto Blake and his hashtag create awesome is serious and to know that he took a, a, a peek inside my like channel or one of my places and saw what I was doing was I will never I, I love it. I'm humble. I'm thankful. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you just for taking a peek. You didn't have to. I am not everybody's cup of tea. But that's why there's soda, there's ginger ale, there's coffee, there's milk. You can have a strawberry milk or a chocolate milk. Whatever you want. <laughs> I don't know. That's the only way I could do it. <laughs> But anyway, I want to send you all a lot of love, a lot of hugs. And for those of you who are growing your channel, keep up the great work. And please do not spam my video. Do not post a link to your channel. Please do not post a link to your Instagram. All my social media links will be listed below. Where says show more? The direct links will be there. And trust and believe, if I like what I see then I will subscribe naturally or I will follow you naturally. Don't tell me to do something. I don't like that. Grow your channel, especially when you got much more than me and you trying to hound me. I don't like that. I don't think so. I don't get paid for this. I have a real daytime job Monday through Friday. I don't get paid for YouTube. All right? So do me a favor and do like I did and what everybody else does. Grow your channel the nice way, the natural way. Work at it. When you work hard, you will be rewarded. With that being said, Later, lovelies.